Welcome back to MW2 for Dummies. Today, we're breaking down Albagra Fortress, Hardpoint. This map is the least positioning and most slaying of all MW2 maps. With the size, there isn't much to rotation or spawn control. With that said, there's a few things to keep in mind. P1 is controlled best by having an AR remain on steps. This will ensure you keep close spawns and refill the point as needed. It will also allow a clean rotation to P2. Keeping players in the building and the back steps will ensure your P2 rotation will be flawless. P2 is the second longest held hill. If you keep players in the back steps and in the building, you will flood the enemy through three pinch points. Inner, outer, and doubles. If you find a moment with three enemy down, hit through the outer tunnel and begin positioning for P3, the money hill on Fortress. This hill will be the easiest held hill of the entire map. Keeping ARs on the platforms and the SMGs roaming, there are only three pinch points to pay attention to. If done properly, this will always be a full 60 second hill. Moving to P4, it gets mixy. There are seven entry points to this hill and it creates chaos for the full 60 seconds. Throw trophies, keep your head down on time, and do your best to secure more time than the enemy. P5 is another hill that may be easy to hold spawns for, but impossible to hold for time. There are too many long open lanes for enemies to pick you off from. The best advice I can give is roam, find kills, and if anyone on the team spawns near the point, grab a few seconds while you can. The only place that I have found that you can successfully assist from is stables. When rotating out of P5, it's in your best interest to either fast hit P1 and get control of the back stairs again, or through P2 and push out the enemy. No matter which way you attack this map, it comes down to winning gunfights. If you win gunfights, you will win the map, period. This map may be replaced soon, but in the meantime, good luck, and remember, it's never chalked.